Hi. Let's talk about Nginx. Nginx is a web server that can also be used as a reverse proxy, load balancer, mail proxy and HTTP cache. In this video I will show you, how to configure Nginx as a load balancer. Let's go to the Nginx official documentation, Nginx will support following load balancing mechanisms. That's our default load balancing, least connected load balancing, weighted load balancing and IP hash. As you see, sample configuration already available in documentation. You only need to do just edit as per our need. Without further ado let's get started. Let's check, how default load balancing works. Default load balancing, is one of the simplest methods for distributing client requests across a group of servers. As you see on screen, each and every request from the client will be forwarded to the server in a round robin method. That means the first request is forwarded to the first server and next request to the second server and so on. I will show you how configure Nginx as a load balancer in round robin method. Okay, here you can see, I have two web servers, both running on different IP addresses. My Nginx server is installed, and running on a third server, its OS is CentOS. Once you install Nginx on CentOS, then you will get a default page, as you see on the screen. Let's edit the configuration file of, Nginx. Here I'm using WinSCP for login to the server. Go to the configuration path. Either you can edit here or you can use some better editors. Here I'm using VS Code for editing. Let's open VS Code. Here is the main part of the configuration. Please go to the Nginx official documentation. Copy the configuration. First we have to delete the existing configuration. Copy the configuration. Just edit upstream server group and add our backend server IP addresses. Next, replace configuration file with our edited one. Take a backup of existing configuration file, this is a good practice. Upload the edited file. Ok, let's restart our Nginx service. Yes, it is working as expected. Here you can see, client each and every request is forwarded to server 1 and, server 2.
Next is weighted load balancing. In weighted load balancing, we can specify some percentage of traffic routing to a specific server, for example, if one of your backend servers, computing power is higher than others, and you want to route more traffic to that server, then you only need to do, just specify more weight on that server. Only you have to make one change, in configuration file. Just add weight. Let's upload new configuration file. Done. It is working as expected. You can see, our first three requests are hitting on server 1 and, only one request is hitting on the server 2. Next is, Session Persistence Load Balancing. Please note that with round robin or least connected load balancing, each subsequent client's request can be potentially distributed to a different server. There is no guarantee that the same client will be always directed to the same server. If there is the need to tie a client to a particular application server, in other words, make the client's session, sticky, or, persistent, in terms of always trying to select a particular server, the IP hash load balancing mechanism can be used, this method ensures that the requests from the same client will always be directed to the same server except when this server is unavailable. Go to the official documentation page. In order to make our load balancer a session persistence, only we have to add just one line. Let's reload our configuration. done. It is working as we expected. You can see, from my browser only getting one server because nginx persisted my session to one server. Next is, least connected load balancing. In least connected load balancing, nginx will try not to overload a busy application server with excessive requests, distributing the new requests to a less busy server instead. Again go to the documentation page. Just add least connection in the configuration. Let's reload the configuration. Here you can't see any changes, because our servers have the same load, but in a real scenario, you can see it. Thank you for watching, in the next video, we will show you, how to configure Nginx as a reverse proxy for Docker containers, please like and subscribe if you felt this video is helpful.